Hey, what's going on? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineeringtrainingexam.com. And in this video, we will review curvature of a smooth curve. The curvature measures how fast the curve is changing direction at any given point. Given a curve defined by y is equal to f of x, its curvature using the following equation is this. So the general formula for curvature given an equation y is equal to f of x, the curvature can be found using the equation k for curvature, f double prime of x divided by 1, 1 plus f of x squared raised to the 3 halves. Now that's the general formula for curvature of any function f of x. So let's look at an example of how uh, we would use this fu or general formula to determine the curvature. Let's say we're given the uh, function y is equal to x squared and we want to find the curvature at say uh, x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. So the first step to, would be to find f double prime and f prime of the function. So f double prime of x is equal to, or sorry, f prime of x is equal to 2 x, and f double prime of x is equal to 2. Now all we need to do is take our general equation and plug in uh, that information. So we got the curvature, capital K, is equal to 2 divided by 1 minus 2x squared raised to the 3 halves. And that comes down, can be simplified as 2 divided by 1 minus 4x squared raised to the 3 halves. And now all we need to do to find the curvature at these given points is to plug in um, and our values. So at x is equal to 1, we got k is equal to 2, 1 minus 4 times 1 squared raised to the 3 halves. We find our curvature at that point is 2 divided by 5 raised to the 3 halves. Now at x equals 0, k is equal to 2 divided by 1 minus 4 z times 0 squared raised to the 3 halves and we find that the curvature at x equals 0 is equal to 2. So that's how we essentially use uh, the general formula of curvature given a a specific function to, to determine that curvature at any given point. Now when we are out designing public systems, we may need to ensure that the curvature of the system, uh, like the roadway, the train track, etc., will be safe for a provided specific use. Therefore, we may be interested in the radius of curvature of the system, which is the radius of the approximating circle. This radius changes as we move along the curve, so how do we define this change? The formula for the radius of, of curvature is given by radius of curvature is given by uh, capital R is equal to 1 over so the inverse of the curvature which is equal to 1 plus f prime of x squared raised to the 3 halves divided by f double prime of x. So all we need to do is take the inverse of the curvature to de determine the radius of curvature. So let's look at an example here. Let's say that uh, we want to determine the radius of curvature at x equals 1 of a curve defined by the equation f of x is equal to 2x to the third minus x plus 3. So we want to find the radius of curvature at x equals 1. 
So the first thing we need to do is find the first and the second derivative. So we got uh, 6x squared minus 1, and we got f double prime is equal to 12x. Now all we need to do now is substitute these uh, values into our uh, radius of curvature general formula. So this is the general formula up here of radius of curvature. So we got uh, 1 plus uh, f prime of x squared raised to the 3 halves divided by f double prime of x which is equal to 1 plus 36 to the fourth minus 12 x squared plus 1 raised to the 3 halves and I just uh, I just expanded this kind of skipped a step on you guys but that's uh, that's the expansion of that divided by 12 x and we can simplify that to be 36 x to the fourth minus 12 x squared plus 2 raised to the 3 halves divided by 12 x. Now all we need to do is plug in our value of x is equal to 1 into our equation and we find that r is equal to 11.05. So our radius of curvature at x equals 1 of the curve defined by the function 2x to the third minus x plus 3 is equal to 11.05. Zero five. So that's all I got for y'all. That's a quick review of curvature and radius of curvature. If you guys have any questions, hop on over to engineeringtrainingexam.com. Check out more videos over there. Uh, sign up for my free EIT preparation boot camp as well. Uh, shoot me some emails if you have any suggestions or feedback, and uh, we'll be talking soon. All right, take care. Bye.